SEGA Off his eggmobile. Wait a minute, just the one? <laughs> Weak. I would have gotten them all back by now. Save the rest of them. Hey, what? Oh, Let me go. I hate to think on, what Eggman's me. doing to those poor things. I'm on it. Transformation 101. Bunnies to bad things. Boom! Instant army. It needs to be a big army if I'm taking over the world below. You are quite a mighty conqueror. Yes, yes I am. I conquered you, didn't I? And with your help, I'll not only rule the world, I'll finally destroy that blue nuisance, Sonic. Eggman wants the little hedgehog destroyed. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like destroying something. That's what I like about you, Zaz. Always ready for a fight. Even before you know what you're fighting. <laughs> you bet! Bring it on and I'll rip it up! <laughs> Win or lose, I learned something about our enemy. Hey! I've been looking for you, Baldy McNose Hair! Who are your friends? <sighs> friends? These are nobody's friends. They are the Deadly Six, and they are your worst enemies. Zaz, show this blue pest how you do things up here. <laughs> With pleasure, I've been itching for a fight all day. <laughs> I think you're itching because you need a bath. Huh? Are you disrespecting me? Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna mess you up! I'd love to stay and watch him disassemble you, but I have business to attend to. <laughs> I know the perfect spot to take care of you. That's funny, because I know the perfect spot to kick you! All right, we good to go or what, Tails? Hmm. I've built a TV out of paper clips. Yeah. And reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I know. So look, fixing a propeller on a biplane, that's about as difficult as taking a nap. Okay, I didn't need your whole life story. A simple good to go would have been cool. All right, good to go! 
Cool! These animals are quite underwhelming. I'm disappointed in you incompetent fools. Violently disappointed. We don't care about your disappointment, Master. Do you care now? <gasps> You, fat one, go take care of that blue pest. Hey, who are you calling fat? You. Now, if you hurry and destroy Sonic, I've got an even bigger sandwich. Oh boy, sandwich! <laughs> Power levels green, Orbot. Power levels stable. Extractor activated. Stop, Phoebe, baby! <laughs> I'm feeling stronger by the second! Level is fluctuating. Reaction unstable. Better shut it down quick, boss, or it will lock into overload. Shut it down! Oh, why just stop, boss? I felt great! The machine is unstable. We just want to borrow some of the planet's energy. We don't want to destroy it. Speak for yourself. Helpful advice. Diet and exercise. Diet? Three words. Hey! Whoa! I think I'll have you for dessert. Don't talk with your mouth full. Yeah, right. Hey, I forgot the mustard. I'll be right back. Hey, where do you think you're going? I hone your abilities. I equip you with the most powerful mechs I can create. I even give you a giant sandwich, and you still disappoint me. <laughs> I'm a compassionate hmm. man. That shell looks like trouble. Hold on a second. Sonic! Uh, I think that thing in Eggman's hand is gone! Oh. Eggman's shell is gone! <laughs> That was a mistake. Whatever. When is it a mistake to take your toys away? When it's the only thing keeping six angry Zeti from controlling my mechs, you moronic hedgehog. Strike, <laughs> 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 right, brothers. Make the fool pay. Sonic, everything's gone cattywampus. My cacophonic conk was the only thing keeping those six maniacs in check. Some sort of a natural inhibitor to their powers. Very painful. And very rare. The Zeti have an innate ability to manipulate magnetic fields. They can make electronics, including my mechs, do interesting things. 
I controlled those powers with the conch until Sonic punted it away with his typical stupidity. Oh, get lost, Eggman, and let us get things under control. I hope the Zeti eat you alive, you meddling hedgehog. Okay, if it pleases the court, all those who think Eggman is a total bonehead raise their hands. Well, there you go, folks. The motion is passed unanimously. I didn't raise my hand. <laughs> It would seem the peaceful days of tending my garden will have to wait. While I take care of these matters, the rest of you cannot. Please, Master Zick. This is not something you should trouble yourself with. It's beneath you. Now, don't be concerned. Get it! It'll be good to stretch these old bones. I tested the blue one, and he's more powerful than I anticipated. He shows much potential. Who cares about him? Now that I'm free, I want to squeeze Eggman till he pops! And eat him, I suppose. Uh, well, yeah. There are better ways to make him suffer. But more delicious? What would you say if I told you we could destroy Eggman's world and use its energy to make ourselves unbelievably powerful? Well, I would say that I had taught you well. Yes, you have. And it will be Eggman's own creation that causes his destruction. <laughs> Sonic, something bad's happening. Whoa, what's going on? I don't know. It's like something in the sky is draining the life out of the world. Plants, animals, even the air feels cold and dead. Okay, you guys stay safe down there. I'll try to figure out what's going on and stop it. Whoa. Huh? Your time is almost over, Crash Hedgehog. I shall prepare for you a lesson in respect. A painful lesson. Oh, someone's gonna get taken to school, all right. Follow, if you dare. We have a mutual problem. One so large that it will take both of us to overcome Whatever. it. Whatever. I told you, we can handle the Zeddy by ourselves. That may be true. But the rebellious swine have gotten hold of a device of mine, and they're using it in ways for which it was never designed. Uh, what was it designed for, Doctor? <clears throat> it was supposed to extract energy from our world, but the machine is unstable. Once it reaches full power, it can't be shut off. It will drain our world dry. So that's what Amy was talking about. And you just want to go smash it, don't you? <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, what? It's what I do. Oh, always your answer to everything, Hedgehog. If you wish to create a cataclysmic explosion that will incinerate everything within a hundred miles, please smash away. So there's no off switch? No, not anymore. I need to get to the machine and reprogram the shutdown sequence. I'll supply the brains. You will supply the brawn I need to get past the Zeti. Oh, and you're asking so nicely. <laughs> Good one, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Man up, Tails. I don't like working with my most hated enemies any more than you do. But our entire world is at stake. Yeah, well, teaming up with you feels like the end of the world, Eggman. I don't want to take a long shower by the time we're done. <laughs> Whoa. Overcompensate much? Man, how many military factories does a guy need? If you weren't always destroying them, I wouldn't need so many. And done! 
Duh! Thanks for fixing me! No problem. Sorry you got stuck with a voice chip that looks like it was built by a two-year-old. I think I liked it better when I was trying to destroy you. Yeah, well, feelings mutual, Eggface. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Before we start destroying each other, let's remember why we're working together. Okay, please remind me. Tails, we need Eggman to shut down his machine. And you don't trust me to do it. What? No! I trust you, Tails. It's just that... No, you don't. You trust Eggman more. Do you know how much that bites? I do trust you, Tails, but the whole world's in danger because I did something stupid. Do you know how much that bites? Actually, nothing bites more than having to listen to this dreadful conversation. Eggman! Egg you, you bite! bite! Why are you still here? I'm just getting ready. Well, you seem to be taking your time. Well, it is my time to take now, isn't it? But what if I told you that you were the only one I trusted to be fast enough, oh. smart enough, mm -hmm. and pretty enough Go on. to beat the blue nuisance? Well, I'd say you've got the right girl for the job. Well, that was so easy, I almost feel guilty. Ooh, that was cool. Pun entirely intended. Your efforts are impressive, little hedgehog. But you are destined to fail, as the fat fool has failed before you. I'll get fat from eating your black hearts, you Eggman wannabes! Whoa! Your threats are almost as amusing as your mustache. I must commend you on your invention, though. We get stronger and stronger as we leech the life from your dying world. Yeah, I've noticed. But where are you gonna live when your world's dead, guys? Oh, right! You've been dead, too! <laughs> too bad for you! <laughs> I will burn your world, you rebellious scum! I will destroy everything you love and make you rot! No! No! no. Boss! Your hands! As long as I can still strangle a Zeti, my hands are fine. Move it or lose it, Snow Cone! The last time we met, you ruined my nail art. Now I have to reapply a whole new coat. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Mm -hmm. I am so, so sorry. Oh, well, in that case. Oh no, what I meant to say is, I'm so sorry that you have nothing more important to do in life. Oh, you're gonna pay for that. As soon as my nails dry. I'm getting tired of lugging your head around, pal, so I made you a snowbot body. Uh, I can't feel my legs! <laughs> True! Your robots are a reflection of your genius, Dr. Eggman. But this does give me an idea! I think I know a way to cause the lost hex to implode using no gravity effects. We could destroy the Zeti in one quick stroke and exterminate every living thing around them. Are you out of your mind? Of course, there'd be some collateral damage, but... Collateral damage? What kind of monster... Tails! I'm sorry. I suddenly felt very mean. Not the best idea to put the dimwit's head on a battle bot. In hindsight, I gotta agree with you, Doc. Thanks for the save. Um... Can you get off me now? I can't figure you out. One second you're contemplating genocide, and the next you're saving one of your worst enemies. I'm a complicated guy. And you? What were you thinking, Tails? You could have gotten yourself killed. I was just trying to help. Sonic is more formidable than I anticipated. Yes, he would make a powerful slave. Eggman taught us how to make robots. 
So we'll make the Hedgehog a robot. Excellent plan, Master. I'm sure you would have thought of it yourself, given time and time. Something Sonic is running out of. Something's not right. Huh. Must have missed this one. Sonic! It's a trap! Tails! No! Those rotten, sneaky... Tails acted for the greater good. Let's make sure his sacrifice isn't for nothing. I'm supposed to be the fastest, but I was too slow to save my buddy. Sigh, everything seems so pointless. Hey, what did you do with Tails? What? Seriously, we captured you. You wish? You grabbed my friend and I want him back. Man, this day keeps getting lamer and lamer. Whatever. I gotta go tell the others the bad news. <laughs> Giving bad news is actually the one thing I enjoy. I'll deal with you later, loser. Sonic, it's time for... Um, how come he's not blue? <laughs> you incompetent fools! I cannot trust you with the simplest of tasks. All right, we can work this to our advantage. Somebody messed up royally, because we don't have Sonic. We know! Look at him all, I'm so fast and stuff. Ugh, makes me sick. Time to knock him down a peg. If we don't find your friend, can I be your sidekick? What? Shut up! What kind of question is that? I didn't mean anything by it. I just thought it might be better to work for you than Eggman. Hello, I'm sitting right here, you know. Orbot, no matter what happens, I won't fail again. I will save Tails. It's stuff like that that makes me want to be your sidekick. Tails is lucky. But seriously, I'm right here. I can still hear you. Hello, Sonic. Yeah, I've been looking for you. And we've been looking for you. Unfortunately, we found your friend Tails first. Hey, you heard one hair on his head! Well, don't worry. We're actually making him better. He'll be much happier as a robot. <laughs> no! They're gonna turn Tails into a robot! That's horrible! Oh, I don't know. Being a robot's not so bad. From where I'm sitting, it is a nightmare. Who thought that putting this bucket brain's head on me was a good idea? of my revenge. Yeah, it'll be fun to have your little buddy scramble you like an omelet. <laughs> omelet. Enjoy your last moments of free will. When we return, you'll be our slave. I built a TV out of paper clips and reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I'm not even gonna need the detergent for this one. <laughs> Quite 
quite a drop. Yes, yes it is. Oh! Ah! You guys are going down! This energy machine is made up way stronger! to you guys. Don't be so whiny, man. That's my deal. Give up now and join your friend. Tail? Man, when I get my hands on you guys... We promise you will be happy in our service. I'll never serve you. I was hoping you'd say that. Destroy Sonic. Take it from here. Nice work! Now it's time for me to do my job and shut this baby down! It is off! Who could have done that? <laughs> me, of course! I needed some alone time to supercharge my mech after you got me past the Zeki. Faking my death was the perfect way. And now, my ultimate weapon is complete! Finally, with the energy collected from the extractor, I can rule the world! Pity about the damage done down there, but there's still enough left for me to conquer. The only thing that's gonna get conquered is your face, Eggman! You know you never needed Eggman, right? I could have turned this thing off myself. Sorry about that, Tails. I'll never doubt you again. It's cool. Oh, and here's something that even Eggman couldn't do. I just reprogrammed his machine to return our world's stolen energy. In your face, Eggman! I'll be back, Sonic. I'll find another conk, and the Zeti will be mine once again. Only next time, I'll make them stronger. <laughs> Honey. Why isn't my jetpack working? Maybe because I borrowed the exhaust hose? <laughs> Sonic! Here's your energy back, world! Bon appetit! Looks like springtime's come early. <laughs> Thanks to you and Tails. Well, I would have wrapped this up sooner, but eh, what are you gonna do? <sighs> you know, after a day like today, I can enjoy a nap on some fresh green grass.
Your face is... Yes, your face. It is good to see your face. Uh, boss, your face... Is a little dirty. Let me wipe that for you. Not being weird. Let's get out of here before my day gets any worse. Uh, why can't we tell him about his mustache? Uh, I think it's better to wait until he separates our heads. Then you can tell him and get all the glory. Great, thanks! What's wrong with my mustache? <laughs> 